Good Sunday morning. And welcome to Ice Age TV, the internal combustion engine age YouTube channel that talks about all my cars and trucks and motorcycles and SUVs, the dogs, the kid, the antics. Oh, wow. What a beautiful Sunday morning. Hey, good Sunday morning there. Just reaching out this morning to say hi to everybody. And I hope everybody's having a blessed Sunday as we get into that special time of year of Easter. If you're on the Christian side of the equation, you get all that language. So, wow. What a beautiful Sunday. Perfect Sunday to go to a car show. So, guess what? That's what we're doing today. And boy, oh boy. I've kind of gotten so out of sync with going to the car show because uh, I've been out of town, the weather, but here we are. Challenging, extremely challenging. Here I am with a whole collection of vehicles and I just added yet another vehicle. Uh, yeah, a Ram TRX, which if you watch my channel, you know that's been an ongoing back and forth, try to buy one over and over again and it finally played out. So those that are really in tune in the channel know that I now own a 2021 Ram TRX uh, with not too many miles on it, not too bad, about 21,000 miles. And someday I know my family is in love with this thing to the point I've never even driven it. I'm not lying. I've never even driven this truck. So here it is on Sunday morning, Sunday meet. It's cold. It's cool. I actually kind of bundled up this morning to kind of make sure that it's pretty warm because uh, it's it's cold out here. I've got my Ram hat on. And so here's the dilemma. Here's the challenge. What do I take? What do we take to the car show? I mean, some part of me says take the Ford Raptor because it's kind of direct um, competitor to the Ram TRX, meaning that it's the off-road, more performance-oriented truck that Ram went after. Uh, the biggest difference is that Ford didn't put a V8 motor in theirs out of the out of the gate. Biggest difference with Ram is they did put a big V8 supercharged Hellcat motor in it right out of the gate. And you have to say to yourself, why wouldn't have Ram been kind of like Ford and offered like the 392, a little more uh, downsized, less powerful pickup, so it's more affordable to the masses. So why didn't Ram kind of do like what Ford has done? And they give you the V6 option, and now they give you the V8 option. You gotta give me, I think, surprise that Ram just doesn't kind of do that, even though I've heard that there's gonna be a Ram TRX kind of uh, next generation lookalike with the Hurricane inline six uh, twin turbo motor. But the whole point is, you would have thought that Ram would have said, hey, we'll give you a little tamer uh, version of Ram TRX. You get the big ass, beefy look to it, and you get the 392 package. And they bump the horsepower from like 485 to like, you know, 500, 525 or something. I mean, that would have been really cool. Because once again, it would have been more of the masses could have, you know, afforded this. And what's incredible here, get this. I priced out this exact same truck. So from 2021, I don't know what the MSRP was on this truck in 2021, but I know what I paid for it. I just paid basically 80 grand for it, 79 and change, 80 grand basically. Um, but if you build this exact same truck today, I'm not embellishing here. It's $124,000. So three years later, three years later, this truck is now $124,000. My guess would be back in 2021, this was a 90-ish price truck would be my guess. But for me, being the guy I bought in, in my in my view, a very nice truck that in so many ways in my world is still brand new because the interior is flawless, the exterior is flawless. The owner of this took a really good care of it, but it's a $44,000 spread in price. $44,000, whoa, wow, I mean, holy crow. So just beyond believable where the car market has gone on its pricing, it's just beyond believable. It really is. And for me, I've been blessed to make this, this whole deal pulled off. And I mean, just incredible. So once again, what do we take the car show? I mean, but then you get the Ford versus the, uh, the Ram. One of my other subscribers is only hoping that I take the uh, the Super B. I take the Super B up the road. Here's the uh, ongoing smoke in the barn out. And, uh, you know, it's kind of working, but it's not totally working, meaning some birds are getting in here, but I don't think the big guys are getting in. So we'll see how that plays out. It's a lot of work to smoke this barn. But anyways, so one of my subscribers, he's really wanting me to take the, uh, the Super B up. But these tires really are not great on 30 degree days. And today it's 30 degrees out and the high will be 40. So it's not really the best um, 
it's you know for the record you're not really supposed to drive these tires i know i mean i i can do it but for the record these tires are not designed for cold environments they're very hard and whatever now part of me is like get the uh the mopar out but jesus christ that's a project this will be a 15 minute project for me to get my hellcat red eye out which i rarely ever drive that has all season tires for mustang that has uh, high performance tires but it doesn't really go with the theme of the day so borderline the easiest thing to do is just to take the race truck in so many ways i think the race truck and the ram trx would get a lot of attention today and that would be a lot of fun or I, like i say i take the the raptor and we park them next to each other for really the the head-to-head -head comparisons as far as the architecture but not so much the motor yeah it'd be pretty cool if i had a raptor arm but here's its dangerous really dangerous i can't believe it i was over near baltimore yesterday <laughs> and i guess eh, you know i just had too much on my plate yesterday and there's a track hawk <laughs> so here i'm looking at this black track hawk and i don't disagree a lot of people are reaching out saying man for the amount of money you're gonna pay for that thing it's too pricey but if you get out in the market and you look around for a track hawk you used you're gonna be stumped your jaws in a drop when the, basically, that car is a sixty-plus thousand-dollar car. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm not lying. You're, you look in the market, and then once you have the lower miles, you're at ninety to hundred thousand dollars for those cars. So the price of that car isn't bad per se, but it's the high mileage that's a concerning. Well, I just found another one, which I think at the end of the day I'd pay five grand more for it, but it has half the miles. So in that essence, if I really want a track hawk. I think I could probably pull that off. And the black one, I think it looks really good. Fun vehicle. But once again, it's a very high mileage car and it's a lot of money. If that car is 50 grand, I think it'd probably be worth it to be at you know, I got them down to 65 grand. But I mean, even me, I'm sure most people, and I don't disagree. I think they probably paid the guy 55 or 58 at best for that car. I mean, that would be my guess. I doubt they paid they paid him sixty thousand dollars, but who knows? But the whole point of that is <laughs> yesterday. Uh, if I'd have been kind of more up for the ongoing wheeling dealing, I could have been yesterday making a video of a whole different track hawk somewhere else. So does that play out? I don't know. The track hawk is something I've always have wanted. It really is. But I could never justify it because it was just such a gas guzzler and it was a lot of money. So anyway, so now what do I take? I mean, I can take the Corvette because the Corvette's got all season tires. I can take the Bronco. I mean, lots of things. And already my Corvette is starting to get trashed because of all the trees are dumping all its little stuff all over it. So that kind of sucks. I need to get it out of this area just because of uh, just of that. And this is the most recent things that I've been purchased. So in so many ways, you know, you're going to have to say, why don't you take the Vet? Because the Vet is your latest, greatest addition to your um, family. Even though the Ram TRX is, but guess who's going to drive that? The kid. You know, it's really great. It's one of my subscribers said to me yesterday. It's like, hey, you counted out all the used cars you've bought recently. And you're reminding me of one that I forgot about. So I was saying to myself yesterday, on the used car side, I bought this Raptor 37. Then I bought the, uh, the Camaro Z28. So it was my second used car purchase. And even for me standing here, I'm thinking, okay, it's number two. Um, what was number three? Was it the Corvette? I'm thinking it's the Corvette. I'm sure I'm going to screw up here. I think the Corvette is number three. Oh, no, number three was F450. Right, so that's what he caught me on. The F450 was number three. Number four would be the Corvette. Number five would be the Ram TRX. And if I was to get a Trackhawk, that would be number six. So for me this year, first time ever in my whole life, I would have bought six used vehicles over buying anything new. So think it through. What have I bought new this year? I don't think I have. So this is a really change of direction of where I am. But everything's getting so expensive. And I'm sure some people will, oh, we bought the uh, Ford Bronco, uh, the Bronco over there. So that's seven. There's seven. Well, <coughs> it, it's six vehicle purchases because I bought the track hog. So the Ford Bronco would be the first new one. But I'm sure a lot of people still have paid. The prices are going to continue to go down. I wouldn't, just, I wouldn't disagree with you. But when it comes kind of these specialty vehicles, yeah, I think the prices will come down. But I don't think it's going to be radical. 
So, and there'll be people out there who are buying these cars and pick them up, just like this Ram Shark truck. I mean, I paid 80 grand for it. Could it be in like 75? Yeah, I think it could be, but it's a relationship with the dealership and it's how we get the deal bought. And that's very challenging. You know, getting the financing done is very challenging. It was a fluke on how I got this deal done. I'm just not going to get into my personal information on how the car gods play out, but you have no idea on how this really played out. And yesterday, the Trackhawk deal, um, most people said don't buy it. It doesn't matter. I can't buy it. In all reality, I can't buy that vehicle. There's, there's just no, we're at the end of the road of the relationship with that dealership with bankers and finance companies. They're not going to give the Iceman another car. So for the most part, that deal is not going to go down. We've run out of options. It doesn't even matter if I give something up. They're just the banks aren't going to buy the deal. So for me to get a track hawk, I have to go a whole different direction, which that's the dangerous part. Now I do have in the plate to go a whole different direction, but back to the used cars, I'm sure some be like, you know, Iceman, just keep on sitting it out, sitting it out. Well, there's a fine line there and you use stuff that comes in, just like this Corvette over here. I mean, so many people are like, get rid of the Corvette. Oh, I called Carvani yesterday. I've made a range. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny this morning drinking hot coffee i usually drink cold coffee and i'm out hacking and coughing so look at that so I, this morning i changed it up and I, and I put hot coffee and now i'm hacking and coughing well anyway so the, the, the carvana is no issues the carvana is very happy to fix this they're not arguing they've already given me places to take it and they're gonna fix it so they actually their whole the whole carvana um dashboard let you go in, upload pictures of the damage your car, whatever, and then they reach back out, and let you know where to take it and get a fix, and they're going to pay for it. So I mean, so that's pretty cool. There's nothing going on in that aspect of Carvana wanting to argue about fixing this car. So, so anyways, you know, back to the car values, used car values, and everything. Yeah, I don't disagree, but here's the thing: so many people are like, "Give this car back! Don't give it to Carvana." Find me a 2015 Corvette Z06, this color combination, 11,000 miles. And it doesn't have a front end splitter issue, but it maybe has something else somewhere else. So you just can't see it. And I'll reject this and find me the same car for the same price that I paid 64 grand for. I, I just don't think you're going to find it. <laughs> so so it, it's very challenging when you're looking for a used car that you have a flair for that you want the specific color. Very challenging. And that's what the used car industry knows. That's why they make so much money off of used cars typically. Because they know you just can't drive down the street and find a bunch of these at the other Chevy dealer. You're not. So if the used car guy knows how to manage and buy cars, these are more profitable new cars because you can't go price shop this. I've been on Carvana. Do me a favor, anybody out there, shoot me a picture, shoot me a link of a Corvette 2015 Z06 red black top uh, with the nice peanut butter color interior, 11,000 miles, uh, no issues as far as Carfax, and uh, show me where I paid too much. Show me the $50,000 Corvette Z06. I'd love to see it. I'm sincere. Show it to me. Send me the link. Now, I know in the Ram TRX, you're going to find this truck out there in private sales. This thing would be in the $70,000 range. You go out west, this will be in the $70,000 range. I already know that. But I don't have relationships with these banks. And I don't have relationships to dealerships or the individuals to be able to buy the thing. So that's very unique on how these deals go down. And I have to pay maybe a little bit more. You know, I don't think I paid a lot more. I, I think it blows me away that a guy went and ordered a brand new one and is going to pay 124 grand for it. Now, at the dealership, is 124 grand Ram TR should be discounted? I'm, I'm sure they probably will. Will they take 24 grand off of it? I don't think they will. Will they take five off it? I think that's possible. Ten? I don't know. Ten's possible, but you're still, you're still, it, the truck's no different. It's no different. I mean, I'm not lying to you. So the 2024 truck is no different. It just has a 2024 uh, window sticker on it and a 2024 build date on it. Other than that, the truck's the same truck. <laughs> same paint, same interior, same technology, same motor, blah, blah, blah. Everything's the same. And so the guy who goes out and buys this truck... He just spent $44,000 and I did. More than that because the taxes added all up too. So, so anyway, it's just a short video this morning on the ongoing antics of the Iceman that's always out there. <laughs> this was never planned. Never planned. I never thought, I really, if you watch my channel, you'll hear me talk about that I'm pretty much done trying to get the Ram TRX and it's fine. I'd rather have a Raptor R. That would be the better deal for me. But at the same time, it's very expensive. It's very expensive. 
So for me, it's like, eh, whatever, right? So, and then this plays out. So now it's starting to get late. I'm going to get the car show, so I'm really going to have to kind of cut this off because if I don't upload this video here in the next few minutes, it doesn't uh, upload till later. So the kid, let's see, where's the kid? I don't know. Does the kid want to go? Sometimes the kid doesn't want to go. Because you're, eh, you know, it's just, but I think she's going to want to go because this is a really cool truck and she loves it. Yeah, whose favorite vehicle is this? Did you see the Harley sticker in the back of it? I mean, for the most part, I mean, did you see the Harley sticker in the back of it? Yeah, it's more of kind of a, who do you think that is? An Iceman type of sticker? I mean, sincerely. <laughs> do you think that I'm going to put that in the back of my vehicle? Yeah, where's the fuzzy dice, right? So I was hoping the kid would come out, but we'll do more video of that. So I don't know. What am I taking? I don't know at this point. So stay tuned for the car show meet. I'll walk around, talk to some people. Hopefully we find a cool vehicle. And so stay tuned.